G'day and welcome to a brand new series of my show, Snacks Kitchen. Now, this is series two titled Snacks Kitchen to Three Layers of Bread. Because in this series, we're going to make a sandwich in every episode by a different kind. <laughs> so, today we are going to make the fish finger sandwich. For this, you will need fish fingers, bread of your choice, butter, a spreading knife, and a plate, but that's not relevant at the minute. So, first thing we do before we start cooking is we go and wash our hands. <coughs> something to dry our hands with. So I'm gonna get out of this tea towel. <coughs> yeah. And I can use this later for an oven mitt. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? <coughs> So what you're going to want to do here is not use the stove but go into the oven that I've got right here. Get all the shit trays because you don't need them. And you leave them there till you're done with your fish fingers. Now, let's get on with it. So there's the tray. And here are the fish fingers. They're not bird's eye. But you can get them from all kinds of different places. I got these from Aldi. Okay, so now we're going to lay out some fish fingers on the tray. Now, like I say, it doesn't matter what brand they are. I do prefer Bird's Eye, but they didn't have any. <laughs> so, what you're going to want to do is get a fish finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can use these as Jenga, you know, yeah, so there, you can put as many fish fingers on there as you like, I'm going to put eight on because I'm a greedy bastard, <laughs> right, uh, seven, come on you, yeah. eight, right, so next we've got to do is put them in the oven. <coughs> yes. Fish fingers for Jenga. Fish fingers for Jenga. <coughs> <laughs> oh no. That's what you can also do with them. Don't do them when they're cooked. Do them when they're frozen. <coughs> So, yes, now we're going to put them in the oven. Now, if you're a kid, remember to get a grown-up to do this for you. In fact, if you have kids, lock them under the stairs. It's not for kids, this program. It's PG, it's PG, this. <coughs> right, so now we're going to put the fish sugars in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this function dial towards me, so it's to the left. Then we're going to turn the dial towards the quarter part of this handle here <coughs> and now we're going to leave it for 20 to 25 minutes to cook which will take that long so see you in 25 <coughs> so we So after you've finished in the oven for 25 minutes, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the oven and leave them to cool for a moment, okay? <coughs> so let's get on to the next part.
So for this next part you're going to need a plate and kitchen roll. And what we're going to do now is begin the bread bit. So you open your bread up and get out about two loaves. I've gone for medium but you can use any bread you want. This is like a mixture of both. So what we're going to do next is get the dry butter out and the spreading knife so this is where now it all comes in handy and what we're going to do is we're going to get a bit of butter oh, and then butter the bread up yeah yeah butter that bread yeah right there's one bit buttered now we're going to get the other slice and butter that. Yeah. Yeah, it's all getting on there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there. Okay, so the bread's buttered. Now we're going to put this in a dishwasher or the sink. I'll put it in the sink for the moment and we're going to get the butter and we're going to get the bread right and we're going to put these away back into the fridge because that's what we do right <coughs> So now, you can either use an oven mitt, but if you haven't got one, use a tea towel and fold it very well and make it nice and thick so you don't burn your hand. <coughs> and what we're going to do now is take out the fish fingers. And I'm also going to need to use my spatula to dish them out onto the dish. So, let's do it. Oh, top, top, top. Ah, okay, done it, there they are, mm, nice and crisp, right, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to dish these out onto the plate and put them into the bread shortly after, yeah, it's stuck to the tray a bit, right, now this tray is a bit dirty so I'm going to put it right here, right in the sink for me to wash after. So the dish cloth, the uh, tea towel that's fine. Now let's begin breading it all up. <coughs> So I put four fish fingers in the bread. These four I'm going to save and I'm going to eat as fish fingers. So you place the bread on top of there. You put it on the plate. Right. And then for the final touch, you're going to need a fucking massive knife like so. Right here to cut the sandwich up, you know. Once you've got that in, and there you go. It's not fucking rocket science. The fish finger sandwich. Fish fingers and sandwiches put together as one. Now I'm gonna pig out on it and I'm gonna fucking eat it. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and like. Also, feel free to comment and also share this as well with your friends so they can learn to make a fish finger sandwich like I've shown you. Also subscribe to Ren Ross's YouTube channel if you want to see more. Also follow him up on social media. His Facebook and Twitter are going to be linked down below so you can follow him and stay updated with him. So yes, see you next week.
It's gonna be sweet. Yeah. Goodbye.